which of the following can represent a vector? So a vector is something that has both a magnitude and a direction. So let's see which of these could represent something that has a magnitude and a direction. So the first choice right over here is the number five. Well, five could represent a magnitude. You could say essentially how large something is, but it, that's all the information has. It doesn't say five in a certain direction. So this one by itself would not be a, or it couldn't represent a vector. You would need, you need to specify a direction as well. The angle measure five degrees. Well, the angle measure five degrees could represent a direction. If you say it's five degrees, let's say that's the positive x-axis, that's the positive y-axis. If you said it's five degrees relative to the positive x-axis, so if you said something like this, so if you had five degrees right over there, that would be specifying a direction, but it's not giving us a magnitude. It's not saying how far in that direction or how large in that direction. So an angle measure of five degrees, you're giving us a direction, but no magnitude. So let's just cross these out. The point five comma five. Now this is interesting. If, if we say that the point is the end point of a vector that, started, that starts at the origin, so let's draw that out. So if that's the positive x-axis, positive y-axis. If this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five in the horizontal direction, one, two, three, four, five in the positive vertical direction, then the point five comma five is going to be is going to be right over there. And so if you said that this represents the essentially the head of a vector that whose tail is at the origin, so the vector would look something like this. Now you're giving both a magnitude and a direction. What's the magnitude? What's well, the distance between the origin and this point right over here, which you could solve using the Pythagorean theorem. And the direction is this, this the direction that, that I've just drawn the vector in. It's this general, it's that general direction. So this is speci or this could specify a magnitude and a direction. So this could represent a vector. The outcome of five plus five. Well, obviously that's just 10, that's just a number. And for the same reason, this first choice, if I just have a number, that could be a magnitude, but we don't have a direction as well. So this could not represent, and that one could not represent a vector.